The story of how animals managed to colonize the air is truly astonishing. First into the skies were the insects. They initially had two pairs of wings, which in due course were modified in many different ways. But after having the skies to themselves for about 100 million years, a new group of animals took to the air. Vertebrates. I can hear the screams of men and gunfire. I can smell their fear. They know something is in the dark. Something strange, menacing, and very, very hungry. She's not here, she added, noticing me roll over to see if Harley was still in my bed. Um, boyfriend, you say? It seems sudden and volatile. Don't worry about my dad. He'll behave, and I can handle Harley in my sleep. She added, seeing me about to mention her and her temper. Bahamut was stern and very disapproving of evil, always arguing with Asgarath about his crusade against it. He accepted no excuses for evil acts, and didn't tolerate even minor offences by evil creatures. In spite of his stance, he was also considered one of the most compassionate beings in the multiverse. He had limitless empathy for the downtrodden, the dispossessed, and the helpless. She looked up at me in that stare. I felt something deep inside of me die. She died in my arms, looking up into my eyes, gurgling her last moments, still unable to make sense of any of this. Unable to understand why her mother would do such a thing as bite her. I still don't understand why. What did you do? What? Was that gasoline? The thing seemed to nod. Where did it all come from? How'd you get the gas? I swear the first chance I get, you're out of here. He yelled, missing a kick at it as it scurried away to join the others. Then, taking a deep breath, he turned to speak to us again. So, let's get you settled in. 